Hey. Hey there. Let's get the important stuff out of the way. Did okay. you get your car fixed? No, I just had that trans cooler added. Oh, well, they just put a trans cooler on it and they're taking care of it? Well, I mean, it's... I'm not having any issues with it. Well, so, good. yeah. Uh, I'm not smelling anymore leaking. I had a guy look at it and he said he put it on for me. Yeah, so, cool. I just... I just did what the guy at Healthman suggested. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, he had it for a couple of days, got it back last week, had, had no issues. So, I was in a conversation with some guys, and I didn't know the answer, so I was talking to Karen, and she said, you know, the person that knows the answer, of course, is Jan, so she wanted me to ask you. Legally and morally, either or, and, and you know, this, this is hypothetical. If somebody came to you and said, hey, I need you to find blah, blah, blah. I need to know where he lives, what he drives, where he works. And then at some point thereafter, that person ceased to exist on this earth as a living human being. The one that you researched? Yeah. Are you obligated legally or morally to notify the police and say, hey? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. If, if they're a private investigator, absolutely. Okay. Uh, but it's not the PI's fault. So there's no legal action that can be taken against the PI. Unless the PI, you know, was somehow involved, which I doubt it. But I've had that uh, question asked before. So if somebody wants me to seek somebody, my next question is why. And I did have a, I did have this situation about a year ago. A guy called me, sent me information, said I want to know where he's at, blah blah blah, owes him money, and uh, I just said okay. And then about I don't know. Three or four days later, he texted me and said, never mind, the guy paid me the money. So I didn't pursue it, yeah. but yeah, that will absolutely happen. Okay. But no, the PI, unless he, you know. I've got a, the, part of the conversation was with a couple of buddies. One of them was a Marine. His 16-year-old uh, daughter was raped. And they, she didn't tell anybody for a couple of weeks, so there's no evidence. And knowing this guy like I know, if he finds the guy, the person will cease to exist. Oh, absolutely. And I don't blame him. But again, said, that's, you know, that's said, not... I, I, I said, I, dude, I don't know. Uh, he needs <laughs> to said, let the justice system yeah. handle it. But I understand why uh, people kill people. I mean, I understand. Yep. I hear you, Jim. So, but yeah, one crazy act doesn't deserve another one. And revenge is, uh, is obsession. Mm -hmm. And if somebody gets too obsessed with something, then they're going after it. That's all there is to it. So does your buddy need counseling? Does he need a PI to go do something for him? No. Okay. No. In hearing what you've told me, if a PI were involved at all, and let's just say this person ceased to exist for some other reason by somebody else's hands, I don't want to have that PI coming forward and saying, well, I researched it for this person, and then that guy, uh, he, okay. he's, not, he's, he's ready to go to jail. He doesn't care. He's Okay, so the guy's been caught, captured, and he's going to jail. No, no. no. The, the father's ready to go to jail. Oh. Yeah. So this is like recent? Uh, yeah, a few months ago. It's already been through the process. And <clears throat> You know, bless her heart, she was embarrassed and didn't want to tell.
tell anybody, and of course all of the proof is gone. Well, but most of the time, uh, you can talk to somebody and tell if they've been traumatized. I mean, oh, yeah. take Amber Heard, yeah. for instance. She was never traumatized. She traumatized <laughs> Johnny. Yeah. I mean, there's she a big did. difference. If she was scared of Johnny, she'd have... She'd have never provoked him and spoke to him knowing she was going to get her ass beat. No, this, this girl is traumatized. She's, yes, you I can mean, tell. We know it happened. Yes. Okay. So she would never okay. make something like that up. You know, just uh, fuck with somebody. You know, yeah. some, keep, some kids will, but no. Not a normal person. <laughs> All right, Miss Jam. I'm glad you're not having any problem, more problems with your car. And thank you for the answer. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.